Ah, the biggest misconception people have about love is that um, they think a person would just change for them because they're in love with them. They don't understand that these people have their innate habits and stuff. For me, I feel that the first feeling they get when they set their eyes on someone is love. It's not. I believe people think if you don't have money, you can't have love. Is it possible to be happy and without being romantic? Without being romantic, you need that. Of course, you don't even have to be in a romantic relationship to be happy. Yes, because happiness comes from within, not with another person. Of course, romantic relationship does really define your happiness. There's a whole lot of things that can define your happiness, not romantic relationship. Where is that coming from? Happiness is from within. If you can be happy, then you can influence any crowd you're in. So, I'd rather be alone. How do cultural and societal expectations affect our understanding of love? Cultural and societal. Well, we're having a clash between what is work and what is supposed to be. So, um, in a way, it's just everybody refusing to accept or to learn, relearning or learn process. There are some people I tend not to date, even if I have little feelings for them, because my parents can't see me with certain type, or I don't want people to see me outside looking with this kind of person. Society is our first teacher, first. That's, that's, that's where we get stuff from. So yeah, it, 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 it tells a lot on how we react to love. But as we grow older, we get to learn what we want for ourselves, yeah? To a way, yes, it does. Like, we arguing about love is blind in the olden days and now love is, you know, the cultural way is, there's a cultural standard for love, probably how to love or what to love. Some culture will tell you that, okay, we don't want to give you to love. And love, that's the culture. But the other way is not supposed to. So there's a way it's it's fight to conflict. What are some common reasons why people fall out of love? Money. Money. Then some people don't really uh, they don't love themselves enough to even love someone else. Most times they don't really love the person. They don't love themselves enough to be able to love someone else. Number two. I'll say um, third parties. That is one very big reason why people fall out of love. Third parties. They listen to the opinions of people around them and can easily influence their decisions in handling a relationship. Majorly the lies. You know, I always say it, um, it's very annoying when you're being lied to and you already know the truth. You're just kind of idiot. So the lies just... Is it start turn off? Then um, not being considerate to the next person, not being thoughtful, is another one. And then let's not lie to ourselves. Bad sex is just not it. I believe in lack of communication, the inability to communicate your feelings exactly, the problem with you. Next person, next. 